Hello, you must know that Eric Cantona and Haute Lance are working on a project for a few months now. Here we are to discover it. It is called the Morphos and it's the first chronograph of the brand. Je peux vous dire qu'aujourd'hui je suis super fier de travailler avec Haute Lance et toute son équipe. To celebrate this 10th year anniversary, we wanted to have plenty of faces and one of the faces is the product. We wanted to come with a new collection in the signature level, that means non-in-house movement. And uh, this collection is a chronograph that we call Invictus. And the first product we wanted to launch was the, the execution by Eric Cantona, which is a limited edition. And this, uh, this execution is amazing because this is really an idea out of the box. We never should have this idea in, uh, in Outland's team. It's an idea more uh, linked to the philosophy of the time, of the eternity. Uh, Eric Cantona li liked the blue, the blue color, and he wanted to have this uh, more force butterfly color uh, on, the, on the face of the watch. For us, it, it's a real chance to, to, to work like this. This is not just an ambassador coming, taking pictures and, and going away. Um, the goal for us is really to, to develop some products with him, some limited edition, part of the regular collections. And we have already three ideas uh, in mind. The first one will be the chronograph. Uh, so this Invictus collection will be launched through the Morphos edition, which is the limited edition uh, with Eric Cantona. We have a 10th uh, anniversary now. It was tough for plenty of brands. We are still there and we wanted this strong name for this collection to celebrate the launch and the 10th anniversary. So Invictus is the name of the collection with the chronograph du Bois Pas. And uh, for us, it will, it will be the beginning of a small collection of three or four references maximum. Uh, we'll see later, but we know that it's important to have a chronograph. This is the first masculine uh, design watch you can have, and with a strong DNA in the shape of the uh, avant-garde collection, it was really easy to have a really, really uh, impactful and identifiant uh, design. So this is why we decided to go in this square shape, strong design, with a chronograph uh, inside. C'est une vraie passion, c'est une vraie... Uh, c'est obsessionnel, et c'est des fous géniaux, quoi. The way we have approached Eric Cantona was through the art. I knew that he was collecting art since he was 22. I wanted to, um, to share that with him, to understand his, his feeling, with the, 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 why this collection, why this kind of art. And when we discussed that, when we shared that, in fact we understood that the um, street art, which is the best art for us to, to show what we are doing, is the best link with Outlands. Because when the street art became what is now, which is amazing, um, piece can be sold at $3,000 and things like this. In the beginning, there was, there was called the bastard of the heart. And when we started in 2004, people were studying that Outlands on this kind of new generation of watchmakers coming from nowhere was the bastard of the watchmaking industry. And I like this link. Finally, 10 years after that, we can see that Outlands is established. We have a respect of the industry because we are being really creative sometimes and sometimes excessively creative, but respecting the tradition. And in the street art, this is the same. So when we have understood that, that link, we said, okay, we need to do an expo. So he selected the few icons with Banksy, with uh, Black Lara, all the, the big names to show what is the overview of this collection of piece of art. Mm -hmm.